I'm gonna show you what is inside of this travel makeup bag. Okay, so these are the four things that I took with me on my carry-on. This is my makeup bag, my eye brush kits, my face brush kit, and this is a light up mirror. I'm gonna start by showing you what is in my makeup bag. So this makeup bag I got from Amazon. I'll have the link down below. There is a bigger size to this. Here's my hand, so just so you can have an idea of how big it is. Um, this is how thick it is. Um, this is a really good sturdy material. It has a little handle right here and a zipper closure. A lot of stuff fit in here and that's why I didn't think the big one was necessary for me. But if you like to pack a lot of stuff, then get yourself the big one. Right here in this little compartments here, I have all my eyelash stuff. So right here is mascara, eyelash glue, scissors, and tweezers. Here I have glitter glue and then some glitter from Revlon. Here I have liquid eyeliner, pencil eyeliner, and my brow pencil. And here I have all my lip pencils. In here there is a zipper and I have two palettes in here. I have my uh, Perception palette by Colourpop and Shayla. And I also have this uh, natural eyeshadow palette from Okalon. And the reason I brought this one because I like that it has this row of mattes here. I had to do makeup also for my sister's quinceanera. So I brought this um, because I thought it would be helpful. I think this is appropriate because I did about six people makeup and I think that eyeshadow palette came in handy. This makeup case comes with these little inserts that you can move around. You can customize to how you want it. I only have one, two, three of them in, but it came with six of them. So this is a little extra piece. I have two of these little ones and then also another bigger one. But I kept only three. I think this worked for me because I have a lot of big things that I wanted to keep in this section here. I try to keep everything organized. That way when I do my makeup, it's a little bit faster. I know where everything is. I know where everything has to go. So this is like the lip section. This is the face powder section. And then I have my eyelashes here. And then this is the face section, so concealers, primer, foundation, stuff like that. Uh, right here I have little random stuff. So I'm just going to take out this stuff just so we can see what's underneath because this is kind of just laying on the top. Okay, so I'm just going to start off with this compartment and make my way around and show you everything that I have. So for primer, I have my NYX Angel Veil Primer, a Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and then also my NYX First Base Primer Spray. For foundation, I decided to pack my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Um, my trip was a total of 10 days long, and I went to Puerto Vallarta first. Uh, we stayed there for five days, and then I, we went to Zacatecas and Durango. Puerto Vallarta is really hot, really humid, so I really wanted to take a foundation that was going to last me a, a long time. Also, um, we celebrated my sister's quinceañera and my daughter's baptism in Mexico, so I wanted a foundation that was going to last through the whole day of the quinceañera. So, that's why I packed this one. This is in the color 3W2 Cashew. I also packed another matte foundation. This is the Maybelline Fit Me in the color 228. This is for like my quick everyday makeup. I took my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the color Light Medium Honey. I took the Revolution Conceal and Define in the color C6. And this Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer in Medium Beige. I took this Hard Candy Setting Spray. This is a mattifying spray and it's also a 12 hour long wear setting spray. I also took my Wet n Wild Contouring Palette in the color Dulce de Leche. And my Sleek Makeup um, Cream Contouring Kit. Okay, moving on to the powder section. I took my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy highlighter and this is the only highlighter that I brought with me. Of course I had to pack a matte powder so this is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. I also packed 
two loose powders. I know I'm very extra, but that's because this one is more of like a light color. This is the Fit Me in the color Fair Light. I don't know if you can see that one I like to use underneath my eyes when I want some extra brightness. But then I also took this Makeup Revolution one in the color um, banana because it's more yellow and I knew I was gonna get a tan so I wanted to take both just to be safe so that this one wouldn't be so white for me I used both actually on my trip depending on what I wanted if I wanted extra brightness I would use this one if I didn't I would use this one but, um in this little tin I have my uh, physician's formula butter bronzer in here because my my daughter broke mine and so I just dumped it in there and I took that with me and it worked. I just dipped my brush in there and then tap it into here before I apply it in my face and it works out. So, And I got this little tin from the Dollar Tree in like a four pack. For blush I only took one blush and this is my Milani Baked blush in the color Luminoso. I thought it was perfect for a vacation because it's a peachy color. It kind of goes with everything and it has a little bit of luminosity to it so it makes your skin look really pretty. I took this little travel size Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Oh, it has a little bit of banana powder on it. <laughs> um, but yeah, I used that. So for bronzers, I took... Um, the Butter Bronzer, the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, and then I have this one just because, again, I knew I was going to get a tan. I wanted to make sure I had, like, the right colors. And, yeah, and this one I only like to use for contouring. I don't like to bronze with this one. I took this Shayla and ColourPop uh, Loose Highlighter, and I don't really use this on my face. The reason why I brought it is so that I can put it on my body. I love to put this on my body as a little body shimmer, body highlight. And that's why I took this little um, kabuki brush because I can just apply it onto like my arms or my shoulders and my legs and it gives you that extra glow. It's so pretty. You put it on after you apply like your moisturizer, your lotion, and you look super shimmery and beautiful. So in here I also have my e.l.f. cream um, eyeliner. I took a glitter. This is the NYX um, glitter in the color bronze. And I also took a pigment. Um, the reason why I brought this is for the quinceañera. I didn't know how I wanted to do my makeup. So I brought these just in case I wanted to use it. And I ended up using, using this NYX um, pigment in the color Vegas, baby. In here, I also have two eyelashes. Some Demi Wispies and some Wispies. These I got from Amazon. They're pretty much dupes for like red cherry lashes. To be honest, I didn't even wear them. In my whole 10 day trip, I, n I only wore eyelashes one day. The day of the quinceanera. That's the only day I wore the eyelashes. Because I was always in a hurry. My makeup always had to be fast. So I took um, these eyelashes because I didn't know which ones I was going to use the day of the quinceanera. These are both from Eyler. Um, oh dang. I didn't take the case. I took them out of the case so that I could stack them like this. Um, I ended up wearing these. I know these are the op um, opulent. I don't know how to pronounce that. Opulent. Opulent lashes. These are my favorite eyelashes from Eyelore. I love those. And these are, I don't know if these are like midnight or glamour something. I don't know. These are pretty dramatic. I didn't wear these. I ended up wearing these, but I brought both just in case so I can have a little bit of an option. I also brought my Eco Tools blending sponge that is a must. I wanted to take a, some nudes. Um, I have like nudes in here, some glossy ones, a red lipstick. So I'll just really quick go through them. This is by ColourPop and Hello Kitty in the color Tiny Chum. Milani's um, Lip Cream in Pretty. This ColourPop and Shayla Gloss in Neat Freak. ColourPop and Shayla Lipstick in Quickie. NYX Liquid 
Suede in the color Soft Spoken. NYX uh, Cosmic Metals Lip Cream in the color Retro Harmony. And I also took another um, Cosmic Metal in Celestial. Um, I want to take a red just in case, spice things up. Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick in the color Fire Starter. NYX Liquid Suede in Sandstorm. A NYX Butter Gloss in the color Madeline. Really quick, I have these three drawers. Giordano ones. They're in the color Sedona Red, Rock and Rose, and Tawny. Rimmel Lasting Finish Lip Pencil in the color Spice. And this Italia Lip Liner in the color Chocolate. So really quick, I'm going to show you how I pack everything up again. I'm telling you, everything fits in here. You can, And if you rearrange this differently, I'm pretty sure you can fit even more in here. Um, again, look at how much is in here. There is a lot of space in here to fit a lot of stuff. Zips up. Bam, ready to go. And I took this on my carry-on, and there was no problem at all with TSA. They didn't look through my stuff or anything. I traveled American Airlines. I had absolutely no problem. This little um, case is from BH, and in here I just have my face brushes in here. So really quick, I'll just go through it. This is uh, Morphe, BH, Morphe. This is a crown brush, Luxie brush, BH, ELF, BH. Wet and Wild, and then I have two little tiny mini travel size ones. This is from Luxie, and this one is a no-name pencil sharpener in there. This little case is also from BH. I have all my eyeshadow brushes in here. Hello. This is um, a mirror that lights up. You can connect it here, plug it in to the wall, or you can put batteries inside of here. It has a little on switch and it lights up and it works very well. And it has a little stand. And yeah, it comes with this little bag. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't. I love you guys and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!